something where I wanted to get back to the sport of bodybuilding, health, and fitness. Okay, here we are at the last segment of the Dragon's Den. This part's gonna be on posing. Uh, as you know, there's a lot of guys that compete in competitions. I'm an IFBB judge, as well as being a professional bodybuilder. And being an IFBB judge, the one thing that I've seen, even in the professional level, is guys don't know how to pose. Getting into the amateur levels, they can't even pose, they, they pose even worse. So, I really wanna get into the emphasis of proper posing, uh, and the biggest part of posing is knowing your mandatory poses. And people don't even know that part. And what I'm gonna do is I have uh, our subject, our model who's gonna be, uh, what's his name, Bino. He's gonna come on, he's gonna come over here, he's gonna come on, on our mock stage here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the mandatories and have him go through those mandatories. I'm just gonna let him go on his own. I'm gonna say what the mandatories are. And then after that, and then I'm gonna look at him and try to give him pointers on doing it properly. And you guys can watch to know what the judges are looking for. Okay, this is gonna be just like pre-judging. Relax. I do your best, most muscular. Great. Good, give a hand for Camino. Okay. Now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little more critical with him. He actually did a really good job. Uh, not really giving him pointers. He posed pretty well. And I, I just want to give him a little bit more of some tips to 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 improve upon making himself look even better. You want to make sure that you're, you know, even though you're relaxed, you're still posing. He's keeping his, his lats out, he's posing his arms, posing his shoulders. Staying for the judges from an, from an upper angle, you can see, you know, he's not sticking his stomach out. The, one of the biggest things is try not to breathe through your stomach. You breathe through your chest. Because when you breathe through your stomach, your stomach starts to go in and out, and that's what the judges look at, and it looks like you have a distended gut. He's doing a great job at the front double bicep. He's doing a straight on front double bicep. He's flexing his thighs. I can't really say, I can't really critique this. He's, he's actually doing a good job. I would actually do a little more of a vacuum here. If I was doing it, you want to pull all your air out and then come up. You want to maybe pull all your air out and come up. That's it. If you do a vacuum, you can actually make your waist look smaller in that pose. Now this is a pose I help flex with and improve on. Now, he's actually doing that pretty good. He's bringing, what he's doing is he's bringing his, he's bringing his back yeah. as much as he can, flexing this pec, flexing here. He's actually opening up, because a lot of guys, what they do is they, they scrunch in, and you really want to bring that arm back and doing that pose. Mm -hmm. The one thing I want to critique, uh, let's go into the back double bicep. <clears throat> what he's doing, he's flexing his calf, flexing his hamstring. Now what you want to do here is because the judges are facing down, you actually want to yeah. twist back. And by twisting back, the shoulders, do you see now the shoulders look bigger doing that? And it looks, it feels very uncomfortable. For him, he probably doesn't think it, it looks right. Does it feel, does it feel uncomfortable? Relax. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually giving an illusion to make his delts actually cut, get bigger in the pose. It's also bringing out more definition in his back, we're gonna do that again. When he's really conditioned, you can actually see the striations in his lower back as well, in doing that pose. Relax, let's go into the back lat spread. Now, as he opens up, and then he's gonna lean back. As he leans back, it'll actually, it, when he's in real good condition, you actually see the striations in his lower back, and also because he's on an angle, it'll make the lat spread look a lot wider than he is. Go to side tricep. This pose, same thing like the side chest. You're gonna bring your, your toe in, 
want to try to go as low, you know, bring it down. So flex this tricep ball away. There's different ways of doing this pose. How do you like it? Do you do it this way? I do it that way and I do the uh, in the eighth way. The one in which is one calf back. So you can do one calf way. back. Yeah, this calf back. That's it. This calf, bring it down. Yeah. Let's do the, the uh, abdominals and thighs. This pose, you want to make sure you flex your thighs fully. You can actually do them straight on, and then you can actually just open it up to show like, you know, your teardrop, your calf. You come up to the, blow your air out, blow it out, and out, out, out. Out, remember, out. I remember you got to be tense in both legs, not just the leading leg, yeah. this leg also. The judges are looking at the whole pack. Flex the intercostal on which side. And you're going to turn around and show the other side. Flex the other leg. Flex the other leg. And show both sections. And what's really difficult is you want to breathe through your chest and not through your stomach. Because on stage, you can see that right away. A judge looks like your stomach is distended and it's going in and out. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. You got to always keep your stomach tight. Now, you want to know how to do the mandatories properly, which I, which I did, but you also want to be in condition for posing. And what guys don't do is practice posing before a competition. Well, I started practicing posing for a competition 12 weeks out. I would pose through the off-season, like Flex said, but actually make it mandatory in my routine where I train in the morning, train again in the afternoon, and then in the evening, I practice posing. And what really made a difference is doing mandatory poses, but actually holding those poses for a certain period of time. You start holding it for like 15 seconds, then you do 20 seconds, then you try to hold for 25 seconds. We're gonna do posing, and I'm gonna make them hold all the mandatories for 15 seconds. Go, Bino. So, we're gonna start, front double bicep. One, two, three. Being judged. Four, five, tight. Six, Good. seven, eight, nine, 10, Good. 11, Hold it. Come on. 12, 13, 14, 15, relax. Good. Okay, you're gonna stay tight the whole time, relaxed. Front lat spread. Same thing, what I'm doing here. Get that in. It's, it's causing isotension, let's start. One, two. Squeeze. Three. Come on. Four, five, tighter. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, let's go. 12. Come on. 13, 14, 15, relax. What this is doing is it's actually getting the muscles to get tighter and tighter, and also giving you more endurance when you get on stage. <laughs> hey, well, this is new to I've, I've done up to like 45 seconds to a minute holding each mandatory pose, and if you could do that, you could fly through the posing. Uh, and at pre-judging, not get tired, not get sweaty, and go through the whole routine. That's what you want to do. And another thing is by posing that tight and getting tighter and tighter and holding the poses longer, you're actually going to get definition that you wouldn't get just by dieting or training in the gym. It's just super hard. That's the difference. Back lat spread. Okay, squeeze it from the, from the legs, calves. Go up. Make sure these hamstrings are tight, dude. Okay, begin. Make them do a 20. 5, 10, 15, 15. 20. Okay, turn around. No time for that. You can see, you can see this is not that easy. No. Just doing what I'm doing with this guy. I mean, Bino's, Bino's looks like he's tired, right? He's, how do you feel? <laughs> okay, let's go. Most muscular. One, two, three, go. Good, hold, breathe out. Five, show it out. 10, come on, Bino. 15, we're not done, 15, hold it. That's it. Good. 20, good. Now, like I said, when you, this is what you wanna do before a competition is, is not only practice those mandatory poses, but go through this routine of just doing them consistently over and over and over. If you do this, you're gonna get harder, you're gonna get more endurance, and you're gonna get in better shape. But to me, I heard a lot of bodybuilders who start to learn the pose a week, two weeks out from a show. Now, what is bodybuilding? It's about showing your physique off to its best, you know, best uh, angle, you know, basically all the poses, from side chest, back double bicep, and I've seen guys up there with phenomenal physiques get beaten by guys who know how to pose, just because they don't know how to pose properly. 
So, like Rich said, pausing should start 12 weeks out and get harder and harder and harder. Well, in a sense, you, in, you increase the actual intensity. So, um, as Rich pointed out earlier, it's 15 seconds, go to 20 seconds. By, by the time it comes close to the show, you're doing it for a minute. And you can hold that pause all day. There's guys next to you, like, flaking dying. out, dying out, and you can just keep, keep me there. Call me out. Come on, I'll just stay there all day. Not even drop the sweat coming from you. You want to go in there like you're the winner. And it's not being cocky, but it's going in there with, with a presence. That's like you said, like being a peacock. You want to be proud, all the work you did, getting ready for that show, you're going on that stage, you show those judges, you show the audience what you just did. All that hard training, it culminated into that one day on stage. And that's what you're doing when you go to, when you go to a bodybuilding show. That's what it is, it's about all that work for that one day. If you really want more pointers like on how to do a routine, um, a lot of stuff's on the internet now. You can see some of the routines from some of the pros. Uh, Flex's routine that you can see. You can even see my routine or some of the stuff that you can see on the internet. And you can see how poses flow from one to the other. Back in the day when I posed, you could pose up to like four minutes, which was a long time. Which, if you could see how hard it is just for what I showed you Bino did, can you imagine doing a routine and doing that? So it was, it was tough. Another thing is always keep the face relaxed. A lot of guys go on stage and what they do is you know, they're tensing really hard. And the thing is, is even though you're tensing, your face has to be like you're relaxed. You're smiling, you're not like, you're not doing all these faces doing posing. You're just, you're just doing the poses real relaxed. A lot of, you gotta remember the music as well. And if a lot of people will come out because they're big, they wanna pause and they look like they're gonna kill somebody. You wanna come out, pick a pause in routine that suits your body, first of all. Yeah. Um, I pause pretty much, not, not so much gracefully, but I do a lot of, twists and turns and stuff like that. Um, but that's, that suits my physique. But then, I, like as Rich said, I go out there looking confident. And you gotta be confident on stage. And I know your routine, I mean, and always remember this as well. If you mess up on a, on a particular pose in your routine, nobody knows, go and stop and say, ah, I walk off stage, I've seen it so many times. Oh, yeah. Just keep on posing, nobody knows your routine. As long as you're confident going on stage, that you can nail in poses correctly, keep on going. Like I said, the most important thing is Practice in the mandatories. If you can practice those mandatories and get those key, uh, it's key to winning a show. From there, you want to go to some of these local bodybuilding shows, watch what they do, go on the internet, watch some of the routines. The whole thing is transitions. Pick music that suits your body, uh, whether it be hard rock. I was always into the hard rock, popping poses. Um, and there's the graceful poses. Uh, but you want to really get the audience going. I, I got to say, there was uh, Kai Green who just won the Arnold Classic. This guy, he's, he's uh, made posing up to a whole nother level. The guy goes into like headstands, you know, scissor kicks with his legs. I mean, he poses totally different than anyone's ever posed that I've seen. And it's so interesting uh, when you watch this that you end up really noticing the guy. Plus the guy's got a phenomenal physique. The guy was always a great poser. So if you can come up with some really good stuff, uh, it has to flow with the music. You're gonna be able to like get yourself noticed on stage. I think that's it. I want to thank everyone for being part of the whole Dragon's Den and, and this last part of the, you know, the posing segment. Uh, it's really, it's really cool to be here in, 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 in Tennessee. I have to tell you, it's, you guys are great. Everybody's so friendly here. Um, I know a lot of guys flew, uh, or not flew, but drove all the way from Biloxi, Mississippi, uh, from Indiana. Uh, so a lot of people came from all over to come to this event. So. I want you guys to see, and I'm really happy to see all you people here to see us at this event. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, my favorite part of uh, the Dragon's Den was uh, at the end with the posing, uh, learning from my uh, Rich Gaspari, and I'm planning to do a show in October, and I'm going to take that to the stage.